A few years ago, we started a really exciting concept in coach development with the Active Group in New Zealand. I'm very proud to say that a few years later, we've produced some really outstanding and very talented coaches for New Zealand across many, many sports. Basically, we went to the coaches and instead of offering them our program or one way of doing things, we asked them, what do you need to be the best coach that you can be? And we worked with the coaches in the same way that you'd work with an elite athlete on what they needed to be their best, to bring out their full potential as a coach. I took some time out of coaching uh, to have children and um, had two little ones close together and so when I came back in, I, I came back into quite high, high profile jobs. I literally went from where I was to the next step but I'd had that gap and so for me it was really important to get into some sort of professional development to support me and to get my confidence back as a coach. I really enjoyed the forums with the other coaches, uh, the interaction with the coaches, the speakers. Um, but when we came together as coaches, it was the, the group feeling of uh, camaraderie, um, time together, sharing ideas, sharing feelings, um, sharing concerns that, you know, as a coach, sometimes when you're by yourself, you feel very isolated. When we come together as coaches, you see like your ideas, your frustrations are common amongst the group. And so you don't feel isolated, you feel like you feel more empowered to realise that yeah, it's, it is difficult and you're not, not alone and there's a, a group of people around you who have the same feeling and the same struggles um, and the same passion to go forward and help people improve. Well we all have to do a personal development plan and I think as coaches we're so busy focused on everybody else and when you sit in a room full of coaches you realise that everybody's similar to you, we're all doing lots of stuff for other people and we always put ourselves last so we put ourselves behind our athletes, behind our families and our children, we always deal with everybody else first and I, um, they are very very strong on the fact that you have to complete, it's part of the process, you have to do it and you have to focus on yourself and sort out what your strengths and weaknesses are, they help you with that process but it's actually taking the time and being pushed along to make sure it happens. When I came into the program, I was looking more externally, like how I can help my, my athletes. Um, and as I went through the program, I realised that I need to look towards myself, look, internalise that focus, and actually start taking what I've learned and actually applying it on myself. Uh, it's really hard for a coach to look at yourself and be critical of yourself. So along the way, throughout the um, PCA, I've become very, very critical and, and become more self-aware. And I think that's the biggest change for me. A lot of professional development um, delivered to coaches is here's the course, sign up, go along. Whereas this is, you know, it's almost like being back in, in university and, and having that continual contact. So you, you do improve. So I would say my only advice is, is take advantage of it. Um, we're all time poor. All of the coaches within our forum, every time they talked about challenges, there was always somebody who talked about being time poor. But put the time aside for these for these forums and for the workshops, because you you just come out so much better off. Personal development and learning is uh, is a journey. It's not a destination. Um, and as coaches, sometimes we focused on the out the the end goal. And I think when you look at the PCA and when you travel along it. By the time you get to the end, you're hungry for more knowledge. And for me, the PCA has actually opened my eyes to be more critical and more self-aware. So look at it as it's an ongoing thing. When you leave, you get a hunger to keep learning and keep progressing.